So, I want to make a video that might end up aging like garbage. Basically, I want to explain why I don't think we're going to get an operation this year. Now, I could be wrong about this, but I think it's pretty unlikely at this point. There are quite a few reasons why, and when you really think about it, it makes a lot of sense that Valve might not release an operation this year. So, I've talked about what a new operation might bring quite a bit this year. Obviously, operations have a lot of interesting stuff in them. New skins, new maps, changes to core gameplay mechanics, missions, rewards, that sort of stuff. Valve generally save the big stuff for them, which is why it's a bit weird that two weeks ago, Valve released an update that added Anubis to the active duty map pool and also nerfed the AWP and the M4A1S, because these are exactly the kind of updates you'd expect them to hold on to for the operation. After all, Riptide added Drop Grenades, Broken Fang added Ancient, Shattered Web nerfed the SG-553 even if it wasn't in the patch notes. So why would Valve release an update like this separately? Does that seem like a weird thing to do? Why would you separate out the biggest changes to the game all year from an operation if an operation was just a few weeks away? But not only that, they haven't even put the Rio stickers on sale yet. And if you're going to release an operation, well, you're not going to want a sticker sale distracting from all the cool new stuff you're adding. I mean, don't be me wrong, there could be just incompetent developer decisions, but in theory, you wouldn't want the sticker sale being close to the operation. You want to space them out of it. You don't want overlap because like, it's two, two events that get people using their Steam wallet balance. You don't want them crossing over. So again, why haven't Valve put these stickers on sale yet? If they're going to be you know, releasing operations soon, wouldn't they want the stickers to be on sale well in advance? They don't distract from what's going on with the operation. Now, on top of this, we also have to consider data mine information from the game files because in the past, it was very common for people to find signs of an upcoming operation in the game files, sometimes even months in advance. In the run-up to Shadow Web, people found things in the game files. In the run-up to Broken Fang, people found things in the game files. In the run-up to Riptide, this f***ing goofy goob was doing clickbait streams every day saying a big update was coming because he knew a big update was coming. Like, it wasn't a cap. It wasn't like, yes, he had the evidence. But this year, there has been nothing. Literally nothing has been dug up indicating that an operation is coming. Now, I actually checked this with Gabe Follower just in case I missed something, but he agreed. Apparently, there's been nothing to do with an operation data mined. But you know what has been data mined? Lots and lots and lots of stuff about Source 2. It is very clear that Valve is putting a ton of effort into the Source 2 port. There are a lot of rumors surrounding it. The biggest one being CSGO is going to be rebranded to Counter-Strike in this big event for the game. But while that itself is just conjecture at this point, I think it is pretty telling that all of the data mining this year has found stuff related to Source 2, not an operation. And this is where you've got to keep in mind something else. You see, Valve don't crunch their workers. Like, this is a very common thing in the game industry. Employees are forced to work ridiculous hours to meet deadlines. Valve generally don't do that. But as a consequence, their output is often a bit slower. And if they're putting a lot of resources into Source 2, well, it's entirely possible that the operation just isn't getting done. And if the Source 2 update is coming early next year anyway, wouldn't it make more sense to roll the operation in with that? Like, Source 2 on its own is not going to be a revolutionary change, at least not at face value. It is great for modders, but it is not going to revolutionize the game overnight. In fact, a lot of people might feel underwhelmed by it. So wouldn't it make a lot of sense to release an operation at the same time? And look, that's conjecture. That last part in particular is conjecture, but a lot of the rest of it isn't. What we're seeing is updates that would normally be part of the operation of being done early, things like the sticker sale getting delayed, and there's just an absence of leaks. Like, there's just no leaks whatsoever, which we've never seen before, but there has been a lot of leaks about Source 2, which makes me think that is what the dev team's been working on instead, and it makes me think the operation, at least for this year, probably isn't coming. And again, I could be wrong. Yeah, maybe in a week or two, maybe around Christmas, I'm gonna have to eat crow. I, I don't, I don't mind. You know, in fact, I like the idea of mine. I dinked it and guaranteed that an operation is coming. But for the time being, given the information I have, I don't think we're going to get one. So I wanted to make this video explaining it because I've really hyped up the operation a bit. I want to pour some cold water on the fire I've started, so to speak. Um, and with that, this video is pretty much done. If you enjoyed it, please like, comment and subscribe. Massively appreciated. Otherwise, trust the numbers, not your guts. I'm Jesus. 
Thanks for watching. See ya.